Matthew 4, 9. Kai apen alto. Tauta soi panta doso. E an pezon proskuneses moi. So here the devil right above has just showed Jesus um, all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And we read, and he said, this is the devil speaking, second heiress of Lego. He said to him, that's the date of indirect object referring to Jesus. I'm going to go very literally in the order here of the Greek. These things to you all I will give if falling down you worship me. All right, let's look at a few things. This is doso. I've told you, if you've watched us for a while, that whenever you see a da or a do, it's coming from didomi. The real root of didomi is that da or do. So you see the root, then you see a sigma, and the ending, you say, oh, that's going to be a future active indicative, uh, first person singular. Indeed it is. I will give. I will give all these things to you if... And when we hit the henna, some of you are disappointed. I mean, pardon, it's not henna here, but it's et on, right? Et on, henna. We have these, these little bitty words that demand the subjunctive. Eh, eh, eh. Subjunctive alarm goes off. Here's our subjunctive right there. This is from the verb proskuneo, to worship. We'll just make a little note that proskuneo takes a dative object, right? Or a dative complement. That's why moi is in the dative. But there's proskuneo. You can see how that epsilon has lengthened before the sigma. We have a sigma. We have this ending here. You see a sigma, you know it's going to be an aorist subjunctive. Aorist active subjunctive, and that's a second person singular. You worship me. This pezone is a participle. Maybe you recognize that own ending. You may think, oh, that's a present participle. Well, no. It's a second aorist participle, which uses present participle endings. If it were a present participle, it would be piptone, right? Piptone. But this is building on the second aorist stem, right? Pip pipto means I fall. Epizon means I fell. So the stem there is pez, right? Second aorist stem, and then a present participle ending. That's aorist active participle. Aorist active participle, it's nominative masculine singular. Um, because it's referring to the nominative masculine singular entity here, Jesus, right? So the devil is saying to him, if you, uh, and probably, right, there's no, no article in front of it, it's adverbial, probably attendant circumstance, just another thing happening. And in English, it translates best to add in the word and and translate it along with the verb it's with. So we'd say, if you fall down and worship me, 